as I mentioned when we started services this evening, this year has been a bizarre year. And so about a month ago and change, I went out early one morning, it was a Friday morning, and I went for a run in the rain. It was just a light drizzle, refreshing, refreshing, invigorating, awakening. And even though some people don't like to run in the rain, it wasn't a pour, but it was something that felt like a summer, a summer bliss, if you will. Now, anyone who has walked or run with me over the past decade knows that I have a path. And that morning, I began on my path, and for one reason or another, I decided about a mile in to turn right instead of left. Now, that might be just completely insignificant, but in that moment, as I started to run that second mile, there were signs to watch out for poison ivy and then go this way. There were construction blockades that said I couldn't go here, I couldn't go there, so go that way. And eventually, I ran about six miles. It was probably the longest I've run in a very, 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 very long time. And I caught the most beautiful city skyline glowing in the rising sun through the drizzle. And I had no idea really where I was heading. I just ran and I ran and ran. And I realized that that run was so fairly revelatory for me. It was 40 days ago at the start of the month of Elul. Now, when I run, I usually clear my head. But I couldn't that morning. That's why I kept running. My mind was racing. The stress of the pandemic, parenting, life, just in general, everything seemed upside down. And so I ran harder and faster. But that morning, my eyes were opened wide. And I took a step back and realized it's not about what turns we don't take in life. It's not about missed opportunities, but it's about the turns we did take. Think about it for a moment. We spend so much energy. What if I had done that? What would have happened if I took that job? I dated that person. I went to that school. I moved to that town. I went to that party. I played in that game. I answered that email, that phone call, that text. What would have happened if I had done this, that, or the other? Some people spend sleepless nights worrying about the what ifs. Some people, this is the, the complete content of the conversation they have with deep family friends, their therapists, their loved ones. This season is about turning that energy around, inverting it. The rabbis teach us that we are to take these 40 days from that morning all the way till tonight to gear up for the year. Yes, 10 days ago, the new year started, but really now is when things begin. Each month, according to our tradition, has mystical powers. And Elul, at the start, was about deep introspection. And at least for me, I had a revelation, coincidence or not, on that run. Every morning and every night during the month of Elul, we recite Psalm 27. Now, some of you may read Psalms every day and others may have never opened up the book of Psalms. Well, Psalm 27 is about light and hope and salvation and redemption. We call it the Psalm of the Days of Awe, or I like to say these awesome days. The first half of Psalm 27 is all about praise of God for God's faithfulness. But at the end, this psalm, this prayer, it shifts from praise to requests. And it's the end that got me. Were it not that I believe I should see the goodness of God in the land of the living, have hope in God, be of good courage, and God will strengthen your heart. Have hope in God. Were it not that I believe I should see the goodness of God in the land of the living. That's what I was thinking about on that run. I know, I'm weird. But that's what I was thinking about. And it dawned on me. Lule. 
were it not for? Lule is Elul backwards. And there's a hint in this key word. In that month, in that daily reflection, in this season, it turns all of it on its head. This season is not about what you could have done. It's about before this decision. What turns would you make again? What you did do differently and why and how? This is not about looking backwards to the what ifs. Instead, it is looking forward and recognizing the because of. It's not dwelling in the past. It is literally and figuratively running toward the future. We spend all this time beating ourselves up, thinking about these hypotheticals. And really, our tradition teaches us there ain't no hypothetical. You're supposed to focus on the here and the now. And so in that way, we recite this psalm and it transforms us. Now, I've been talking about Elul, and now here we are at Kol Nidre. This year is about making the intentional turns the first time around because the clock is ticking on U-turns. Are we out of time? No. What I didn't tell you is we say this psalm during the days of awe, but it's not only during the month of Elul. We say this psalm not through Yom Kippur. We say this psalm through all the way to the end of Sukkot. And in the Hasidic community, they say it all the way to the end of Hanukkah. Right? It keeps getting there and getting there and getting there closer and closer. But tonight is the night to rededicate ourselves to intention. Tonight is the night to rededicate ourselves to intention. We nullified all of our previous vows. And tonight, we are grateful for the turns we did take. And yet, that Lule verse, it finally becomes a mantra for us. You don't have to go on the run to hear it. You don't have to go on a walk to hear it. You just have to close yourself in a room and sit and look ahead instead of back. Were it not for my belief in myself and in my ability to make the right decision, I would not be here. And if I could have hope in me, then I could have hope in God. If I could have hope in me, then I could have hope in God. The message this year is not Pollyannish is about hope. It's definitive, definitive intention. We pray, please God, strengthen my heart and give me courage and help me make my turns intentionally. Don't accidentally do this. Don't haphazardly do that. Don't regret and say, what if? Instead, look ahead and make a choice. Instead, look ahead, decide, and have no regret. Because Yom Kippur, is about tonight and tomorrow, and no longer about yesterday. Gemara Khatimatova.